Good evening. Prince Harry's brief Australian visit is almost over. A fleeting trip to WA, his last stop on the way home. Peter Capsanis followed the popular prince on his tour of Perth. Touching down, carrying precious cargo. On board Prince Harry, flanked by Tony Abbott. Travelling from Sydney, the Prince and Prime Minister were given a warm welcome by WA Premier Colin Barnett. Harry had spent less than 36 hours in the Harbour City and clearly would have liked to have stayed longer. Really sad to be leaving work. Just can't get the time off work nowadays. It's like a second home. Um, and the next time I come back, he's going to be struggling to get rid of me, I'm sure. But by the time he hit the West Coast, he was ready for a change in scenery and climate. Welcome to Western Australia. Thank you. The Royals' movements for his even shorter Perth stopover, a closely guarded secret. Uh, his uh, query was where's the best surfing spot? But no board shorts, instead the fourth in line to the throne changing into his fatigues for a visit to our military elite, the Special Air Services Regiment at Swanbourne. <laughs> The lucky few royal fans who had cottoned on to Harry's movements lining up to catch a glimpse of the prince. What do you think of the royal family? Well, we used to live in England and they were very kind, so... During his four-hour visit to Campbell Barracks, the prince took a tour of the base, had lunch with the SAS soldiers and even took out some time to lay a wreath at the Garden of Reflection in honour of our fallen diggers. He's an everyday person. No, he was lucky he could live his life like normal people. We're lucky that even if he's here just for a few hours or so, that'd be great. And he did say he's coming back to Australia where there'd be more time. 